Production. Outstanding. Hello and welcome again to another video, it's your boy Lerado. And in this video, in the comment section of a particular video, I have seen a particular comment in which uh, I've answered it, but I want to bring it to the wider audience so they can have a better understanding of what I explained there. Now, in the comment section, Escobar Productions asked me about uh, compression on the mix bus and also on the master. Truth be told, if you have already done enough compression in mixing, you do not need to do compression again in master unless you feel the need to do so. If you do compression in mastering, be sure to make it light because mastering is not about doing things or to correct stuff that can be corrected in the mixing. However, it's a case if you are mastering it, you can do enough compression in mixing. However, if you are sending it out for mastering, they probably might do the next level of compression. Though I'm certain that it will be light on the, on the compression stage because getting a different ear or ears to, to, to master your music is, is very good because at the end of the day, they, they can listen it from a different perspective or a different um, approach, are taking a different approach in mastering the sound. So, uh, compressing like on your mix bus, your two bus, whatever bus you might call it, or your summing, doing enough compression there or throughout the mix, it does not necessarily mean that you have to do as much compression during mastering. So, that is my take on it. If you have any other take on it, please do leave it in the comments below. I like seeing the comments because they encourage me to do a lot more videos like these and keep it going so I can share stuff that I have answered individually with others. So until the next video, it's a boy Elorado. Peace out.